Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Recently, a viewer asked me whether she would need a wok for stir frying. She said whether she can get by using a frying pan or a skillet. And my initial response is yes. You absolutely need a wok for stir frying. And then I start to reconsider my answer. Because I did stir frying in a frying pan for about three months when I was living in Hong Kong. About、uh, ten years ago,、uh, I was living in a tiny apartment on a small island、uh, adjacent to Hong Kong.、Uh, the kitchen was very small. All it has is a propane stove, and all I had was a small frying pan. And I stir fry in it、uh, for all this time、uh, until my landlord provided me a old wok that he used to have.、Uh, so. It is very clear that you can stir fry in a frying pan as well. However, when I got the wok, I realized that what a difference that it make. So my answer to the viewer's question is that of course、uh, you can stir fry in a frying pan.、Uh, you just have to make some adjustment. And if that's all you have, by no means go ahead and do it. And in this video, I would like to demonstrate to you how to stir fry in a skillet. You can use a frying pan as well, but it should be at least 12 inches in diameter. For this demonstration, I'm going to use my 12-inch cast iron skillet. This skillet has no non-stick coating, so I need to season it, and I'm going to use my spot seasoning method, and it works very well to create a non-stick cook surface. You can take a look at this video for more information. Uh, after the skillet has been heated up, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of cooking oil. I let the oil gradually spread over the surface of the skillet. I let the oil to heat up until it starts to smoke gently, and then I turn down the heat, and I let it smoke for another 15 seconds. And this is the time when the wok is being seasoned.、Uh, for this, I'm going to demonstrate a very simple onion and egg dish. At first, I'm going to sauté about a half cup of chopped onion. I use my wok spatula to stir fry the onion.、Uh, the wok spatula works reasonably well, but it's not perfect.、Uh, next, I add about three eggs that have been beaten up.、Uh, I normally cook a dish like this in the wok, so cooking it in a skillet is a little bit kind of a strange. Uh, there is a lot of space to cook it in the skillet.、Uh, however, there is no problem at all.、Uh, so, without any question, cooking a dish like this, whether you cook it in a wok or in a skillet, there are really very little difference.、Uh, next, I'm going to cook a vegetable medley dish、uh, with carrot, Brussels sprout, eggplant, and zucchini. I'm going to first buy a saute some. Garlic. And next, I'm going to stir fry some thinly sliced carrot. Because the surface area of a skillet is much larger,、uh, it takes more effort、uh, to move things around. And next, I'm going to add two vegetables, and that is a、uh, Brussels sprout and eggplant. I used to wash spatula to、uh, mix up the ingredients.、Uh, however, I stir them slightly differently、uh, than if、uh, I am doing this in a wok. I think the difference is that when you cook this in a wok, everything gather all together in the center of the wok, and in this case, they spread over the surface of the wok. The last item that I add to it is some zucchini. So as you can see here, stir frying for a small amount work actually quite well、uh, in a skillet. So when I was living in that small apartment,、uh, I was just cooking for two of us, and that、uh, turned out to be quite、uh, acceptable. The next dish I would like to demonstrate to you is that、uh, to stir fry a rice noodle dish. I use about one and half cup of Rice noodles.、Uh, so first of all, I'm going to pan fry it slightly.、Uh, here I use a pair of tongs, and it seems to be work much better on the flat surface of the skillet. 
and the walk spatula does not work as well, because it is designed for a curved surface. However, a pair of tongs seems to work very well in stirring and mixing all the ingredients in the scallop. A scallop actually works quite well uh, with a limited amount of food ingredients. Uh, so by now uh, it's almost ready. So I switch to my wok spatula. This will allow me finish off with the cooking, and I can transfer them uh, to a serving plate. A stir frying in a scallop is not ideal, but definitely it is workable. Uh, for a small amount of ingredients, there's no problem. But if I have uh, more food ingredients, a wok is better. I prefer the cast iron skillet because it has no non-stick coating. Uh, this is also true uh, if you have a standard steel skillet. And here you can see the advantage of a wok uh, because you can cook a small quantity while all the food will pull in the center of the wok. So consequently, the bowl shape of the wok uh, makes them scalable. Uh, from cooking a small quantity to a large amount of food ingredients. Uh, if you are uh, stir frying a large portion of fried rice, uh, then the, the wok is definitely a much better choice. Uh, the bowl shape of the wok makes mixing the content uh, much easier. And it also will prevent food from spilling onto the stove. Uh, therefore, if you are serious about stir frying, uh, getting a wok is actually uh, quite essential. And wok truly is a multifunctional cooking utensil. Uh, it will allow you to cook many different kinds of food. For example, uh, you can use the wok uh, to make an omelet. And in many ways, a wok is uh, really nothing more uh, than a frying pan that is in a bowl shape. And most of the modern wok has a flat bottom in order for them to uh, fit on the conventional stove. And with this type of wok, uh, you can actually use it as a frying pan. And in this case, uh, you use it to fry some hamburger. And some of this wok frequently referred to as wok pan. And when uh, push comes to shove, you can use it to uh, make a, a grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, so if you are serious about stir frying, uh, then getting a wok is, I would say, pretty essential. And you probably would not go wrong to get a wok, because you can always use it for other cooking tasks. Uh, like in this case, uh, I used my Cuisine 14 inch stainless steel wok uh, to make French toast. Uh, so in summary, uh, you don't need a wok to do stir frying, but it definitely gives you much greater flexibility, a convenience, and efficiency if you do have a wok. I post a video each day uh, to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine uh, using my fast cooking system. Uh, this will allow you to cook a meal from scratch using fresh ingredients in less than 30 minutes. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.